Welcome back to another video and today we're doing a review on a new release from Broadway Limited Imports and this is a part of their Brass Hybrid Paragon 4 series and of course it is the Santa Fe Blue Goose uh, of which we have it from the 1951 to 1953 appearance numbered 3460 of course this is a HO scale locomotive coming with uh, DCC and sound uh, so straight away looking at the box it comes in this nice white presentation with of course the brass hybrid logoing and a few other logos uh, but other than that it is quite uh, minimalistic in its design so we'll simply just slide this out and straight away you can see uh, the locomotive in a clamshell packaging uh, which is nice and protective and pretty much standard for any uh, model you get these days uh, but before we get into the locomotive itself uh, we'll just take a look at the accessories that it comes with uh, which all come here um, here we go, just take this out of the slip Straight away we have the standard uh, functions table uh, from 0 to 28 and on the other side I believe that is just the same uh, for, yeah, well, there you go. Um, other than that we just have the operator's manual which comes with everything you need for this model. Uh, so DCC, DC, your functions and CVs maintenance and all the extras so pretty much uh, what you would expect here um, do not appear to find a one year limited warranty slip which usually comes with these uh, Broadway limited uh, locomotives uh, but it appears we do not have one uh, but that's okay uh, just taking a quick look at the locomotive once again um, I think we'll just go right ahead and open it up and take a look at the accessories that it comes with and of course uh, look at the locomotive up close so we'll get right to that so as you can see now we have the blue goose uh, opened up and just before we run over the details we'll just uh, show you some of the accessories that come uh, with this locomotive uh, as you would expect, this is uh, a locomotive that comes like most of Broadway's locomotives uh, with a smoke feature. So we have the standard uh, smoke fluid funnel. And then another standard item is the extra or spare uh, traction tires and the tool to remove the drivers. And other than that, we just have this little a uh, unique accessory uh, which is I'm not I'm not sure specifically what it's for uh, but it comes with a screw so I'm sure you can just attach it to a piece of the locomotive um, but yeah I'm not too sure at this time uh, specifically what this is so if anyone knows please tell me in the comments I'd love to to know exactly what this is uh, yeah so other than that we have the locomotive which at first glance is absolutely amazing um, to this point I think this is one of Broadway's most detailed uh, brass hybrid locomotives or locomotives in general it just looks that amazing the detail is spectacular and just the colors and the way everything pops out is just amazing and it's certainly something uh, you have to see in person to really appreciate um, but on camera you can still see quite a lot of what this locomotive uh, has to offer so just looking at it obviously you have this iconic scheme um, from what I could tell there was no broken or missing pieces uh, and the paint job uh, looks to be quite well done uh, just looking at the front of the locomotive obviously we have a headlight then we have a Santa Fe uh, shield up the front there uh, we have little micro lights here which I don't believe are operable um, but we will have to double check that later 
uh, when we get it on the tracks. Of course here you have the whistle and then the elongated smokestack up the top. Uh, just looking along the sides here we have the number boards which those I do believe uh, light up. Uh, moving across the locomotive we have of course 3460 um, against this nice chrome uh, or steel finish uh, which looks amazing. Um, just looking at the drivers here everything is just spectacular. The amount of separately applied uh, details are amazing as well as the molded to go along with that there is not a speck or, or piece of this locomotive that isn't really well detailed uh, just tipping it over and taking a look at the top there uh, of course this is a streamlined locomotive so there is a lot of panelling um, over the top uh, but I really love these uh, little vents uh, and how they've been uh, moulded out so you can see through them just a really neat detail just like up on the front here along there oh, and of course there is no uh, front end uh, coupler because uh, it is a passenger or streamlined locomotive so moving on to the cab there's no numbering along here but it is a fully detailed uh, cabin with firemen and I do believe it lights up as well when the locomotive is stationary um, other than that for the front end of the locomotive if you can see here this is a refacing light uh, which is really unique to this locomotive I've never seen anything uh, like that and I'm very keen to see uh, how that operates uh, so yeah nice little detail there from Broadway uh, moving on to the tender as you can see it follows that exact same scheme nice panelling, river detailing, uh, lots of piping and um, covers there just really really well done from Broadway as they usually do then looking towards the rear of the tender of course once again we have the numbering uh, we have a knucklehead coupler uh, with a couple of uh, pipe, uh, piping ladder uh, grab irons and everything you would expect on a locomotive uh, and then once again another unique feature uh, to this locomotive is this red light here uh, which I believe is the backup light uh, but it does uh, shine red which is pretty unique I'm not too sure why they would make it like that uh, I'd have to read up on the history of this locomotive and if it is specific to this exact um, era of this Blue Goose uh, but that is a really neat feature that I'm sure will look spectacular uh, but other than that there isn't too much else to say about this locomotive um, in a brief uh, amount of time I'm sure we could go into the detail and be here uh, for hours especially on the history of such a locomotive uh, but we won't waste any further time and just um, get it on the tracks and see how it runs. So just to reiterate before we begin uh, the running of this locomotive I uh, did a little bit of research and the rear uh, light there is an emergency light uh, which will shine red uh, when the locomotive is stuck or stopped on the tracks uh, and this was uh, the prototypical use of this light uh, just as a warning for any uh, traffic coming up behind the locomotive just to tell them there is a locomotive or stuck on the track so yeah there you go well now we'll just go straight in to the running
So that wraps up our running and review of the Blue Goose uh, of the Santa Fe Railroad. Uh, overall, Broadway Limited has done a absolutely fantastic job with this locomotive. Uh, it's just such a striking design and the colour or the scheme is absolutely amazing. The detail, uh, the way everything pops out and, and just the way it runs in general um, on the layout, it just looks fantastic. And I definitely think, for me personally, this is Broadway's uh, best locomotive to date. And I suppose it should be, as it is, one of their newest. Uh, and yeah, just an amazing locomotive. The design, uh, the quality of... You can just see the quality in this build. Um, and yeah, this model is absolutely fantastic and very striking. And I would highly recommend it to anyone uh, that may find this type of era of locomotive or just have a interest in this locomotive uh, I definitely recommend that you pick one up if you can uh, yeah it's just a very very nice locomotive and definitely something uh, that I love because it is a very unique locomotive that to this date has not been made uh, in this fashion or even in the modern day as far as I know uh, so yeah really really nice locomotive and Broadway have done a fantastic job uh, and I'll say that as many times as I can uh, but yeah, really love this locomotive, had no faults with it whatsoever, no missing pieces or anything broken, uh, no blemishes or, or paint uh, has uh, come off or is blemished. Uh, so yeah, really well done, high quality as it should be due to it being their premier line of the brass hybrids. Uh, so it is what you expect and it lives up to that and, and exceeds it in my opinion. Uh, so yeah. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.